Hey, what's up? Life Bolt Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the brand new 2021 Netflix original show, Bridgerton. This is based off the book series. I never read the books. This is Shondaland Productions' first project on Netflix after ABC's, you know, Grey's Anatomy. What else did she do? How to Get Away with Murder, I think. A bunch of, bunch of Shonda shows. So, this is eight episodes long. It takes place in 1813, I think, is what the beginning of the first episode said. London, England, during the socialite, high socialite season of courting slash marriage slash who can marry whom and when and what lady can marry what lord and things, right? So you got the family of Bridgerton, the Bridgerton family. There's four boys, four girls. Father's deceased. Mother runs the household. Uh, you have the Feathertons who live across the way, and then you have you have a, a an extremely multi multicultural cast. Every, such a diverse cast of characters. You have um, this Black Queen of England whose name I can never remember, but um, it's just so cool seeing alt history presented this way. And I, I know a while back I like ripped to shreds the live action Lady and the Tramp because that's not how history was perceived back then uh, in the 1940s with, you know, a biracial couple and uh, uh, that Nicole, Nicole Brown played this, you know, high society woman of, you know, the the area at that point. And I was like, that's not, that's not culturally, that's not historically accurate when it comes to cultural per points in that time period. And I didn't think to realize it was an alt history because it was never actually referenced, right? But Bridgerton is referenced as alt history, like throughout well, any meme, any any tweet. It's had what eighty five million viewers within the first like week or something like that. Unheard of, and I see why. It is scandalous. It is, it is gorgeously crafted scandalous alt history, and I love me some history. So it's great to see these viscounts and these dukes and newly appointed duchesses all interacting with each other. So. It's just, it's it's hard to, like, watch certain scenes where, like, uh, Antony, um, Simon, and Daphne, they're, like, all extremely attractive people. So, like, it's hard to, like, take the plot point seriously when they're, like, like, dangerously flirting with each other. I don't know how to explain it. There's, like, there's, like, some, some rough moments at points. But, the, but there's, Julie Andrews is the voice of Lady uh, Whistledown, who is this gossip rag writer. And after every shindig or party or promenade or ball or whatever, there's always some scandal that needs to be reported. And then we get, who is Lady Whistledown at the end? My jaw dropped. Bro, my jaw dropped. I didn't think, I did not see it coming, who Lady Whistledown was. And I know I normally talk about spoilers through all my, all my reviews because it's more of a conversation piece. Like, obviously, like, don't watch this if you have it. Don't watch any any of the reviews for that matter if you have not seen or read or partaken in the thing, because like I go into plot points, I go into details, and like it's it's to start the conversation. We can have we can converse uh, about certain things that we liked or disliked. That's the point. It's to start a conversation, a conversation starter. But I will not have a conversation starter within this review. No, I draw the line because the twist at the end was insane i'm still in awe i loved it loved it i loved the costuming gorgeous the cinematography the sets the set design the scenes oh it's just it was beautiful it was beautiful i loved it um my favorite this this is clearly a soap opera right not my favorite soap opera my favorite soap opera will always be revenge it was on ABC. It ran for like six seasons, five or six seasons, something like that. It takes place in the Hamptons. I'm a Long Island boy, so I have to, you know, show some love and support to my revenge-driven uh, soap opera loves. But like some certain scenes were like filmed out east and like you have Suffolk County Police Department cars, or, like actively active, you know, officers, like a part of certain episodes. So like I love, I love that stuff. It's great. But... Um, yeah, so Bridgerton, who would have thought, who would have thought this would be as scandalous as it actually, I did not see the twist, who Lady Whistledown was, bro, I'm still shaking right now, I am shook, 
I'm shooketh. I'm shooketh. Dare I dab? Okay, I can't. I'm, the glasses are going back on. We're we're done. So they're going to start filming season two soon um, for the next socialite season. I can't wait. It's going to be so scandalous. It's great. And the girl who plays Penn, the girl who plays Eloise, loved it. Loved it. We're good. Jumahalo.